Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, something crazy is actually happening in the charts. Right now, the Bitcoin RSI on the daily time frame is breaking a seven-month downtrend. That's right. We are now beginning to enter the early stages of a daily uptrend right now, at the same time of the whales closing their short positions and retail investors opening short positions as all of these funding rates across all exchanges are turning negative. All of this is brewing up a massive storm about to happen in Bitcoin. So in just a moment, I'll be covering all of this and what it actually means in this video. So make sure you're watching to the end so that you're not missing out on all of this important information. And just before we jump into all of that, make sure to drop a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so that you're not missing out on any of these future updates. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Bitcoin US dollar chart on the daily time frame. And zooming out just here, this is taking a look at everything that has happened basically this year. And going back to this peak that we originally saw at around 42,000 US dollars, that was back in January this year. So just about seven months ago now was the beginning of this downtrend in the daily RSI, as you can see just there. Looking at this downwards trending line of resistance just here, we have consistently touched this line multiple times times over the past half a year approximately and so far over the past seven months every single time we have touched that line we've actually gotten a massive rejection along that line and basically led into a decent size correction but right now as you can see just here we were actually scraping along this line for quite a while with that price action that we saw over the past few weeks just here but with the recent move to the upside over the past couple days this has now officially broken the downtrend for this daily RSI. This is huge on the bigger timeframes and this will really be confirmed if we can now get a higher low. If the next low turns out to be a higher low once again, which basically we just have to form another low that is above 35.5 on the daily RSI. If that can happen, then that can really help confirm this new uptrend in the daily RSI. And that is actually really bullish when you're talking about the next few months. Because if you're actually taking a look at what the RSI was looking at before we started flipping bearish, when Bitcoin was actually still looking a little bit bullish here. As you can see just there, we saw a huge daily bearish divergence. We saw higher highs in the Bitcoin price, but lower highs in the Bitcoin RSI on the daily time frame. Once again, signaling to us that we are due for a decent size pullback or at least sideways price action. And if you're taking a look at what's happened recently over the past couple of months just here, we have actually seen a lower low in the Bitcoin price and higher lows in the Bitcoin RSI on the daily time frame. Once again, signaling to us that we are due for another decent sized move to the upside over the next couple months. And now once again, this is all backed up with the RSI breaking this downtrend. And we really just need to confirm a new higher low to really confirm this new uptrend once again. Now in terms of areas on the chart that I would be targeting if we can continue in this uptrend, first of all, of course we have a lot of small points of resistance along the way, but a major point of resistance when we're really zooming out and looking at kind of the key points of resistance here on the daily time frame. A major point of resistance is these peaks just here coming in at roughly around 40 to 42,000 US dollars. If we can start breaking above 42,000 with strong confirmation, so either a massive spike in volume or a retest of that level, then that will actually be very bullish for Bitcoin. And in that case, if we start breaking above those highs just there, above 42,000 with confirmation, after that happens, I would actually expect Bitcoin to continue to the upside into that $50,000 price range, potentially up towards the all time high in the following month after we see a break above 42,000. So that is a major level that I will be paying attention to on the bigger time frame just here. Now, once again, of course, when we're zooming into like the four hour time frame and smaller charts like that, we're going to have some smaller points of resistance along the way that we're going to be looking at as well. But really, when we're zooming out and looking at the big picture here, as in what's going to happen over the next couple months, once again, this RSI alone is telling us that we are due for a decent sized move to the upper side, but not only that. This right here is the short positions over on the Bitfinex exchange. This basically shows us what the whales are doing because these are not small movements. For example, right here, this was around 17,000 Bitcoin in short positions. And right now there's roughly around 2.8,000 Bitcoin in short positions. And once again, this is on the daily time frame. So over the last one week, approximately nearly 14 and a half thousand Bitcoin worth of short positions has now been closed. Once again, pretty much just over the past one week, that nearly equates to $500 million worth of short positions closed. $500 million worth of short positions closing once again is quite a substantial closure of short positions. 
So from the amount that was previously in these short positions alone, we could probably assume that most of these positions were held by Bitcoin whales and smart money. But in this case, we don't even have to assume that because right now, the funding rates across almost all exchanges have now flipped negative, which is crazy because for the beginners out there, a negative funding rate basically means the majority of people are in a short position. So that is right. We're seeing negative funding rates across the board right now. So the majority of retail investors are in short positions while the whales, the smart money, are closing their short positions. They're getting out as fast as possible while the daily Bitcoin RSI is breaking the downtrend and things are starting to look up. In fact, the funding rates just here haven't been this negative since the initial crash that we saw a couple months ago that saw Bitcoin crash from around 60,000 to 30,000 US dollars just here. That huge crash around two months ago. So what does this all mean for Bitcoin? Well, once again, the majority of trades over on all of these exchanges, except for this one exchange just here, every single other the exchange across the board uh, in short positions. The majority is in short positions. And if you don't already know, the majority is usually wrong. Like for example, a couple months ago when Bitcoin was at around 60 to 65,000 US dollars, the majority at that stage were actually really bullish. Entering long positions, we were seeing very positive funding rates. So the fact that all of these short positions are obviously doing the same thing, that is clearly not the smart money. The smart money, once again, is getting out of all of these short positions with about $500 million worth of short positions closed within the past one week. So all of this is basically a perfect storm setting up the Bitcoin price for a potential short squeeze. Now, of course, at this point, it is a bit of speculation whether or not we're going to have a major short squeeze, but we do have quite a few different reasons all lining up to point towards that outcome. And for the beginners out there that don't know what a short squeeze is, basically when the majority of people are in a short position, that means they are betting on the price going to the downside because a short position means that you are making money if the Bitcoin price goes to the downside downside, but how you actually close a short position is you need to buy back into Bitcoin to actually close that short position. And what actually happens if the Bitcoin price goes too far to the upside just here, that will actually force all of those short positions to close their positions, whether they like it or not. And once again, when they're closing their positions, they are buying back into Bitcoin, creating more of a buying demand, which will close even more short positions, making even more buying demand and so on and so forth. That is a short squeeze. And I must say this price action that we're seeing right now on the daily time frame actually looks very, very similar to this area on the chart at the end of 2019. As you can see just there, that was on the back of a massive dump to the downside, a huge crash for Bitcoin. And then we actually spent most of November and December in those low areas just there, a couple months. And once again, we had that initial low, we actually formed a lower low just there, and then one last low just there before we started a decent uptrend just here. And once again, the RSI was already starting to trend to the upside before the price started to trend to the upside on the daily time frame. Taking a look at the current price, we are seeing something very similar. Once again, the initial crash, and then the next low was slightly lower, and then the third low, not as low as the second low. And right now, the RSI, once again, is beginning this uptrend on the daily time frame. So of course, it is not impossible for us to see some more downside price action. I want to make that clear as well. It's not guaranteed. We're just going to go straight to the upside. In my opinion, if you're only looking at one and only scenario actually playing out and you think that that's the only scenario that can play out, that is a one-way ticket to lose money over time. So even though more downside price action is obviously possible, I just thought I should point out quite a few different reasons that are displaying themselves on the chart right now that are telling us that we are due for a decent move to the upside over the next couple couple months. Once again, this is on the daily time frame. This is talking about kind of the midterm as in, you know, months away. So don't necessarily expect a massive pump to the upside, you know, within the next 24 hours or anything like that. The next move to the upside is likely to play out over the next couple months. Once again, playing in towards the end of this year, I do actually expect Bitcoin to have a pretty strong finish towards the end of 2021. But it's important to mention as well as of right now, the actual price itself has not confirmed a new uptrend just yet, at least on the day daily time frame, we haven't actually formed a new higher high just yet. So that is going to be important to pay attention to as well for the Bitcoin holders out there. And by the way, the next video that I will be posting on this channel will be my normal Ethereum update, but the video after that one. So two videos from now, I will be posting that video that a lot of you guys have been suggesting in the comment section down below, going over Bitcoin long positions and short positions, and basically showing from start to finish how to actually trade Bitcoin. So keep an eye out on the channel soon for that video. But that's just about 
got everything I have to say for this video. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to leave a like on the video down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, once again, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on for more videos like this one. I seriously appreciate all of the support on the channel at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough. And considering the fact that right now we are actually in the middle of a major opportunity in the overall crypto markets, feel free to share these videos around with your friends because right now there's really never been a better time to stay active in these markets and also get your friends involved because once again, we are entering into a time of opportunity. But anyway, that's really everything I have to say for this video. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.